What's going on guys? In this video we're going to talk about the new program that we decided to run. We um, First off I'm doing a picture in picture so I'm going to have this clip while the uh, workout footage is running from our first squad day. This is um, the reason I'm looking this way is because the computer's here. Um, but I'm really going to be talking to you guys because I'm not talking much about the workout footage. I'm just going to briefly go over the program without delving into too much because I know it can get confusing um, with just my voice and no visual aids. So, the program we decided to run is Omar Esofs and Greg Knuckles um, Average to Savage program or the Strength Blueprint. Uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. To break it down, it is a 16 week program broken into four, four week blocks. Um, the first the reps start off pretty high and then they, they taper their way, way down and then the 16th week or the 15th week they have an option where if you're peaking, if you're actually peaking for a competition or if you're just training to test your max and then on week 16 you test your max but a few reasons one main one is that they actually had programming for OHP which I liked um, another one is that their training volume was, was nice for us in the sense that they had a squat day, a bench day, a deadlift day, and an OHP day. And as you guys know, we work out six days a week, um, so I added in some of my own program, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So this footage that you're seeing here, guys, is just our first squat day, which was we had to do two sets of 12 and a set of 15. Each week, the weight does get progressively harder, and then... The other major reason we like this program is at the end of every four weeks, you can reset your max. So there's a max rep set. And you basically, you do it, and from what you do on that set, it's just one set, you see how you can reset your max, and you can add five pounds, add 10 pounds. So you're not going a full 16 weeks off of one training max. You're actually seeing how you're progressing, and if you're progressing, some people progress faster than others, depending on if you're a beginner, intermediate, lots of factors. but cutting, bulking, um, lots of lots of factors, but basically you um, can see how you're progressing and then as you get stronger over time, you can keep hitting new maxes until the 16 weeks where you actually hit a, a one rep max and not rep max as the first, the first four, th the first three blocks. So what I'm doing guys, um, as you know, I, I train really high volume. So my personal, I'm gonna say programming, it's really not, it's very, very simple. Um, some people might disagree with this. I thought about it, I thought it through, I was gonna do my own programming, but I don't think it's smart to combine two things like that. So what I'm doing is, I am taking accessory lifts, and I am doing a four by four with them. So, on my squat day, my accessory is gonna be, or my secondary movement is gonna be my bench, right? So I'm gonna have my squat, I'm gonna have my, um, accessory to my primary which is like my front squat then I'm gonna have my deadlift so my deadlift on that day I'm gonna do a 4x4 four four. and every week I'm gonna try to add 5 pounds on each side right so a total of 10 pounds and I'm gonna do it till I can hit 4x4 four four with that weight so I start with 315 in this video I did 315 for a 4x4 four four. next week 325 say I get 3 sets of 4 and 1 set of 3 the week after that I'm going for a 4x4 four four again until I get four by four, and then I'm gonna add weight again. So I keep progressing on a weekly basis. I'm not gonna up my weight, obviously. It's gonna taper off, but you pick a conservative weight that you think you can do for a four by four, and then you add the weight accordingly. So that's what we're doing. For bench, our secondary movement is gonna be pause bench. So on, on the day that's not our main bench day, on our second bench day, we're doing pause bench for a four by four, and adding weight like that. For OHP, um, same thing, we're doing OHP again because I, I would want to do movements like um, banded or different accessories, but I do find that at this time, I really need to practice and engrave those movements, me and Lakshmi both. So we're doing the movements twice. Pause movements are going to help a lot. We've never done that before. Um, so that and then pause squat is going to be our secondary squat day, which is our main deadlift day. We're going to be doing pause squat for a 4x4 four four, and I'm just going to progress like that over the 16 weeks and see how that goes. But that's about it guys. So that's how we combined both of our uh, that program and my own programming so that we have enough volume and we have our 6 days a week of our workouts. And that's about it guys. So I'm going to let the rest of this workout footage play. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understood. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below 
or if um, if I get a lot of comments or questions about it, I'll do a separate video, um, and we'll try to get like a whiteboard or or something, some kind of visual aid to kind of help you guys understand exactly what I mean. So. As always, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.